everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kaylin. I'm a master's student at the University of Oxford studying history and in the fall I will begin my PhD in history and African American studies at Yale University. I wanted to film another daily vlog for you guys because you guys seem to like this particular format and I was going to film a week in my life but I honestly just needed a couple days to focus on my work and organizing my content and all of that so I'm ready to get back on board and I'm going to be taking you guys along for my day. So I got up this morning and immediately went into making my plan for the day and that is something that's really important to keeping structure in my life and having an awareness of all the things that I have coming up. I don't necessarily need to get all of my to-dos done in a day. I have a lot of ongoing to-dos. It definitely helps me to memorize what things I have coming up and things that I need to get done for today. So I went ahead and did that and now I'm gonna go ahead and go get dressed for work. If you guys have not watched my videos before, you may not know, but I ride horses professionally part-time. So I work Tuesday through Friday. So today I'm gonna be going to the barn and hopefully it won't be as hot as the last couple of days, fingers crossed. And then when I get back from work today, I'm going to be jumping straight into dissertation mode. I'm currently working on drafting my first draft of my master's dissertation for Oxford. And so that is my main priority for today and for the next couple of weeks. I also have been studying for the LSAT, but I've kind of pushed that aside to work on the dissertation and to focus on that and I am just excited to get a draft put together and I have to say that after a little bit of time I'm taking a step away from my academic work it has been really nice to be able to get back into the literature and start writing again. I don't know if you guys have experienced this as well but at the beginning of kind of quarantine and shelter in place I was feeling really unmotivated and honestly feeling a little disheartened because my conceptualization of how my master's degree was supposed to go was kind of taken away from me and so I had to kind of pivot and figure out a different project and I have to say that I like this project even more than I liked the other one. I'm just excited to be working on it and I'm finding a lot of sources that I think are going to be super helpful for my PhD so it just makes me really excited for my academic work and I also just signed the lease and s sent in the security deposit for my apartment in New Haven. So that's all done and I'm going to be making a video all about my move and financing it and all of that and how much money I've saved. I've been really careful about saving money and so I've put quite a bit of money away into my savings account and I am covering this move with a little bit of help from my mother but I'm pretty much on my own for this one so I am really excited to have signed the lease. I got approved on my own. I didn't need a co-signer and I don't know it's just really exciting. I feel like I'm actually getting to start my adult life. Anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go get ready for work and I'm gonna take you guys along for my day. So I realized that I pretty much never talk about what I'm wearing or what I'm doing at the barn so I wanted to quickly show you guys what I wear to work. So I just have on a white polo and then I have on a braided brown belt with my Taylor Sportsman tan breeches and some nice long socks. Today I'm going to attempt to show you guys a little bit more about what I do at the barn for my job and then I'm also going to try to walk you through more pieces of working on my dissertation this evening. I want this to be slightly more of an interactive vlog. I know that when I go to the barn I typically just get clips of me riding really quick and then I quickly skip to coming back home. So I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit more of what I'm doing though I can't make too many promises because I am at work. but. I wanted to take you guys along for a true day in my life and show you guys all the little bits and pieces of what I do from morning to night. discovered that if you vlog and try to get b-roll clips while getting ready it actually extends the time 
that it requires you to get ready. So I don't have time to go to the bank before work, but I will go during my lunch break. And now I'm off to go ride some ponies. Obviously, I'm not gonna carry a camera while I'm riding, but I am on Hudson and we're just having a nice easy ride on the track. We're gonna take a walk around and then we'll get to work. And it's a lot nicer today. It's not too hot. And yeah, I only have two to ride today. I have a Hudson and Duke. So it's gonna be a good day. All right, everyone, I want to introduce you to someone special. This is Duke. He is my favorite horse in the barn. Don't tell any of the others. You guys might've seen him on my Instagram story. He's one of my favorites is very cuddly, like a big dog. All right, so I'm all done for the day. I am going to head home. It is only about 11 o'clock, so finishing pretty early today. And I'm gonna go home, shower, and start working on my dissertation. I only had two to ride today and I don't have to teach, so worked out pretty well. So let's get home. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why I'm down? All right, so now I'm back from work and I went to the bank on my way home. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, take a quick power nap, and then it's time to dissertate. Blues, yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the juice. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you. So I'm finished with my nap. I went ahead and made some lunch. I have a ham sandwich, some salad, just some spinach, strawberries, and dressing. And then I made myself a matcha latte with oat milk. So I'm all set to study and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Never speaking, not speaking about you, leave it alone. Hope you're grinning while you watch your bros on some sofa sunny shit to brighten up a wound is so honest, you depend me. Uh, pick a dull like Chevy, uh, new age Machiavelli, uh, disagree, don't tell me. Uh, with infinity we 98 trust that he be good on the ball like bb don't make no mistakes got the faith the 18 just not gonna be the same finna bleed down generations not gonna be in vain too young why you gotta go why you gotta go i just wanna know i just wanna know now too numb crying getting old crying getting old hope you feed your soul hope you feed your soul i might have caught the june blues yeah i wanna drown myself inside the juice yeah Alright, so I'm making some serious progress on my dissertation. I got a bunch of things off my to-do list. It has been a very good, productive day so far. I sent out the email for my masterclass, which is going to be held tomorrow. I did my budget for my business and for myself, and I am very happy because I did the calculations for my move, and I think I'm still going to be able to save a little bit of money into my savings account, so that is very good. I am very happy about that. and. I will be talking a little bit more about the finances of my move when I get closer to it because I don't know what furniture I'm actually going to be able to purchase and what's going to be able to ship in August. So once that gets all worked out, I will do a video all about how much this is costing me because it is mighty expensive. But I was on Zoom with Chloe and I got a little bit of writing done and I'm very happy with how my dissertation is starting to shape up. When I first got back from Oxford, I'm sure if you guys have been watching my vlogs since then, you might have noticed. I felt really disheartened about my dissertation project and the fact that I wasn't gonna have access to the archives I was planning on. And I was also just really discouraged because I wasn't at Oxford, I wasn't with my friends, I wasn't in a proper like academic environment. And I just, every time I looked at my research, I just felt really upset and heartbroken. And 
I'm finally getting back into the swing of it and it feels so good. I could just talk about my research endlessly and I just, it makes my heart so happy to actually be able to do my work again and to actually feel excited about it because when I wrote my paper for Hillary term, I was just forcing myself to get words on the page. And right now I have so many ideas floating in my head and so many things that I want to accomplish in this dissertation. And it's just so nice to actually feel that way again. So I'm currently working on the introduction and kind of fleshing out my argument. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go pick up dinner for me and my family. And then I'm going to come back and just jump right back into it because honestly, I, I'm just enjoying working on it and it's so nice to be able to say that again because I have just felt so disheartened over the last couple months but I'm gonna go grab food and come back and let's keep going. So I picked up dinner and now I'm just eating and working on my dissertation. I want to get a little bit more of my introduction done. I have a goal of writing one paragraph per day minimum on the days that I am working and then on the weekends when I don't have any work my plan is to do more obviously. One question I get asked probably the most is my study tips and how to time manage as a graduate student and I'm gonna do a video on this but basically I just find ways to slowly chip away at things and I make certain projects a priority per day and I know what things I want to be working on because I keep a running to-do list. So I'll do a video on that in the future if that's something you guys would like to see let me know. I also use a project management software to help me organize all of my projects so I can show you guys how I use that. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep on working. All right, so I've made some really great progress on my dissertation and I am really happy with how this last paragraph turned out. So I actually think what I'm going to do for the rest of the night is kind of go back into the literature because I find that if I feel a little stuck in the writing or I just want to make sure that I am fully supporting my argument and that I'm also not leaving anything out, I'm not leaving any particular arguments or theories out of the discussion, then it's best for me to go back into the literature. So that's one thing that I recommend always is that even though you may have done the research beforehand, that during the writing process give yourself enough time to also go back into the literature because it will help you kind of hone in on your argument. It also helps you remember certain sources. It also improves your writing because you're aware of the argument structures used by historians that are also really good writers or scholars who are really good writers. All right, so on a slightly different note, I just got an announcement from Yale saying that they were going to be changing around the calendar for the fall semester. So essentially Yale College and the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences will begin classes August 31st and end December 4th. The semester will end December 18th. Regardless of whether Yale College is in residence from August 31st to November 20th, all post Thanksgiving activities, including the last week of instruction, reading period, and final exam period will be online. This will be done to maximize the possibility of having students in residence this fall. So they're going to release a statement about what's going to happen with instruction and the possibility of doing hybrid instruction in June. But it's kind of a positive note. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I plan on doing because I'll have an apartment there. And obviously I wanna be with my family during the holidays, but I just wanna make sure that it's safe to do so because when I come back here, I'm with my grandparents and then I can probably go back to Minnesota, but that's just with my mom. So I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen, but I just wanna give you guys an update because 
I try to keep you guys informed as to what's going on when I hear things. So the plan for the rest of the evening is I'm going to do some reading and then I'm also going to try to hang out with Liam. We're going to watch Gilmore Girls and just spend a little bit of time together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please let me know down in the comments below if you liked this format, if you liked me being a little bit more specific about taking you guys around with for my day and being a little bit more diligent about getting B-roll clips as I'm doing things. I hope you guys noticed any difference. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. He started with hello on a summer afternoon. I lost myself and everybody else when I found you.